Hi everyone, so I'm back after a long break, longer than what I wanted to take, um, but I've been so busy and I know people say that, but um, I was doing overtime at work, I was in Holland for a little bit and I haven't really been that well, so I haven't really been in the right frame of mind to make a video, so anyway, I thought I'd go ahead and get started. Um, I'm excited to be back. <laughs> and um, I'm going to start with a Christmas gift guide but you can use this as a holiday gift guide or a birthday gift guide or any gift any day of the week you know um, I've got my Christmas cheer up so I thought I'd go ahead and get started and as soon as I'm finished with this video I'm going to wrap everything so yeah anyway and by the way if you are watching this video and you know me please switch off because I don't want to ruin the surprise unless it's after Christmas and then you can watch um, <laughs> anyway so I'm going to go ahead and get started and I'm going to start with a can of soup. Now, why would I include a can of soup in my Christmas gift guide? Now, this is a kind of silly one, and this isn't going to be applicable to everyone. We are doing Secret Santa in, at work, and um, we've got a five pound limit. And the person I drew eats soup basically every day for lunch. And so I thought that would be a, um, a good idea for her. Um, she choose a soup because it's like the cheapest option on our menu. And yeah, so I thought that should be a jokey present. And then the second half of it, because we did have a five pound limit, and obviously, like this can of soup is not five pounds. Um, I've also bought some Marks and Sparks um, Christmas cookies, and these are uh, Swiss cookies. There's nine different varieties, and this tin was four pounds. And it's got such an adorable, like, Swiss kind of Santa themed Lapland kind of artwork on the front. So that's really good as well. And then for the rest of the people that I'm not buying presents for at work, um, because it's kind of difficult to know what to do. We're going for a Christmas dinner um, and I am going to be giving out crackers <clears throat> um, with lottery tickets in them and these, this is a really good idea, these are mini crackers and you can just you know pop whatever in them and these are five pounds from John Lewis and um, so that's what I'm going to do for my other co-workers. Now moving on to like <clears throat> more real presents, not those aren't real but still <laughs> Um, so, most of you will recognise this as a glossy box, um, <clears throat> and what I've done for my friend is organise um, her own glossy box from things I've chosen, like, I kind of, my favourite kind of things that I think she'll like, and to be honest, if I'd known about the other boxes, I would have gone for them, they're, they're doing like Christmas special one-off boxes, if I'd known that, <laughs> I would have done that, but never mind. Um, basically, so I've just got testers of everything, and she can just have a go, or little or small things. So the first thing is Soap and Glory Scrub and Leave and Body Buff. And um, I love the so Soap and Glory stuff. I think it smells amazing. The quality is really nice. Um, and then I've also got the Clean Girls Body Wash. And I think these are like 2 50 each. So it works out to be quite cheap. Um, and I think they were around 3, three for 2 or something. Um, and this is uh, Smooth It Body Butter as well. I have both of these and I love the, the um, body wash because it smells amazing and it leaves your skin feeling so soft. Then I got her some Baptiste uh, dry shampoo which is always useful. Uh, Carmex the strawberry one and this is good for winter because you, know, you get chaplets. But also for the summer because it's got SPF 15 in it. Um, and then I got her some uh, scrunchie, scrunchie. Um, bobby pins which I can never get enough of like I, I lose them like crazy but these are really really good bobby pins um they're really strong they don't fall out your hair you can reuse them and reuse them and they're not going to lose their shape either which I find with a lot of the cheaper brands um then I bought her barium nail paint and this is in the color vivid purple and these are like 2 dollars so they're also really good and then I also got um the 17 Wild Metallic Eyes. I am addicted to this right now. I basically, I can either use it just on its own and it's, <clears throat> it's amazing. Um, it just really gives some colour to your eyes and you don't need to use a lot. You can just put some mascara on and you're ready to go. Um, or I like to use it, like I've used it today, uh, underneath um, my eyeshadow which makes it stick so much better. So and I think these are $3.99 so I think that was like the most expensive thing that I purchased. But I think it all came to about 20 quid, and I've just used the Glossy Box packaging because it's a really nice like gift box idea as well. So that's ready to go, basically. Now the next thing is for another friend of mine, 
and I've got her the Philosophy Thank You gift set and this has got the Raspberry Sorbet um, body wash, shower gel, uh, bubble baths and shampoo, it's, you can use it as anything and then there's a lip gloss as well. I'll probably just pair this with um, some roses or something, not real roses, the chocolate kind. Um, but this was a really good offer, I think I got it during um, a promotion or a sale. <laughs> So I think I only got I think it was only fifteen pounds, which is really good. And um, I, I, uh, Philosophy is a really good brand as well. I think the packaging is so cute; it's just got like loads of glitter on it. Um, so it's a nice gift set. Then uh, for the man in your life, or you know, a brother or your dad, depending on what his tastes are, I've got the Paco Rabanne One Million um, gift set, and this has got the um, the fifty mil. Yeah, the 50ml uh, Eau de Toilette and also the uh, 100ml but, uh, shower gel. So it's a really good package. Um, I know the person that I'm giving this to will really love this because he uses it a lot. And um, it's kind of in a safe. I love, I'm addicted to the packaging. I'm just going to take this off. Um, this, uh, these are the Sennheiser headphones. Um, I love Sennheiser. I've always used Sennheiser earphones for myself. And uh, the person I'm buying this for... Um, likes to listen to things on his computer um, and you know it's not something you always want to use but I find if you're going to be sitting around and you know you're not used to having in-ear headphones these are probably going to be more comfortable to wear for especially for longer periods of time um, and I always like the sound quality of Sennheiser I never find any problems with them I think they're amazing so um, and these were £69 and um, I bought I bought these from John Lewis uh, also and um, yeah, they're really good. So then I've got another gift for um, somebody who may like whiskey. And this was a real bargain. Um, I got this from Selfridges, which I, I love the Selfridges bag. It's amazing. Um, yeah, so this is the Talisker gift set. And if you're not sure what Talisker is, it's whiskey. Um, and basically this comes with a... Um, a it's 20 centilitres, which I'm not sure what that is in like mill millilitres, it doesn't, I can't see. But it's also got a hip flask and a talisker engraved um, whiskey, whiskey glass as well. So it's a really nice set and this was only like £15. Pounds. Um, so that's a really, really good gift. The box is beautifully made. It's it's really quite solid. It looks amazing. And um, the guy in the shop, <laughs> well in Selfridges, um, he... He came over to me and was like, you really have to buy this, it's a really good gift because the hip flask and the, and the glass would be, would be worth over £10 on their own and then you've got the whiskey. So for, if you've got a granddad or your dad or an uncle who loves whiskey, then this would be amazing for them. And then this is a, the biggest splurge that I have made and, and to be honest, this, is, this has gone half with um, somebody else. But this is, I'm not sure you'll be able to see, but this is a coat, and it's from H&M, and it's £99, which is a lot of money, uh, but um, as I said, it's, I've gone hard for someone, so it's not too bad, um, and I know the person I'm guessing this for will really, really love it, um, I'm trying not to give anything away in case people are watching it, but I think most people would know who it was for, uh, anyway, so this is a beautiful coat, um, I, I saw it and I was looking for a coat to buy this person and I absolutely just fell in love with it and also it looks more high-end than it is and it's really just quite difficult to show you guys because it is a, a full-length coat. I, I tried it on and I didn't realise that it would be so long but it, it goes down to past my calves so yeah it's not quite floor length but um, yeah it looks, it looks so nice and it's got these buttons on the front which are beautiful and also a tie to go around the middle to give you a bit of shape and these huge lapel collars it's just such a gorgeous color as well it's kind of like a mink color i'm just going to check um what it's made out of okay so it's 75 percent wool um yeah so it's it's such and it's like a really heavy coat you know sometimes you get this coat and they feel quite light this is it feels luxurious um so i was really happy with this um and actually, what I also found is that um, the sizes are quite big. Uh, so I've actually had to go the size down from what I would think to get. But um, it should fit. But I have got a receipt just in case. 
Um, and that, I think, is it. Um, I have got a haul that I really need to do. Um, I really want to get back into the swing of things and get back to doing videos for you guys because I've missed it. And yeah, I'm really excited for Christmas. Let me know if you have uh, any questions or I will, I will make sure to put everything, all the prices um, below uh, just so you guys know. And um, I hope you're having a lovely holiday season and I'll see you all soon. Bye!